Hi everybody, this is Bug Ass Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Stranger Things Walmart exclusive Upside Down Will figure and Squeezable Dart. So, before we take a look at Will, let's take a look at Dart. Um, I found both of these at Walmart, which is really surprising to me because my Walmart doesn't even sell Marvel Legends, but they got in the whole new wave of Stranger Things figures. So, I definitely had to get the exclusive, uh, he was the last one they had, that was the last one they had, the exclusive Will. And then they had this dart, which really isn't a figure, it's just, um, it's a squeezable thing. Like, it's, a, it's made out of rubber, and, uh, it has beads in it, like if you, you can hear them inside it. Um, it's kind of like a stress ball, like, it's squishy and rubbery. I mean, you don't wanna, you don't wanna squeeze it too much, or, or it will rip, uh, because like I said, it's kind of like a, like a stress ball. But when you, uh, when you squeeze it, it goes... Well, when you're when you squeeze it there, that's how you're supposed to squeeze it. I'm trying to get in the frame here. There, that's what. And uh, looking at the inside of its, uh, would these be considered mandibles? Uh, looking at the inside of its mouth, I'll, I'll say that. Um, the teeth they they kind of just look like uh, look like white dots. Now it is uh, they used a gloss coat over the inside of its mouth there, making it look really slimy. But I feel like it should have had a lot more teeth. Like, uh, here's the packaging, and looking at this prototype here, it has a lot better paint apps to it. Like, this isn't paint at all, and it has a really weird, uh, light green on its tail right here. I don't, I don't think it's supposed to be like that, because it was like this in the package. Or, well, it was kind of like that. But, when I got it, I didn't look at that. I probably should have looked at that. But, I didn't expect it to have any, any errors like that. But yeah, the prototype here is definitely painted a lot better. I might, I don't know, I might take a little bit of a light green and do a dry brush over. I think that would really bring out the details because uh, Dart actually has a lot of details. But there's no paint, you know, so, so it's not really bringing it out. So yep, and he has infinite articulation. <laughs> um, there's no articulation to go over since it's a, a squishy, squeezable thing. So... So he kind of has an infinite articulation, because uh, cause the tail, it doesn't stay, but you can move it, and you can squish it, and all that good stuff. So yes, it has infinite articulation. So now, let's take a look at the accessories. Look at the accessories for Will, upside down Will. Uh, there's also a regular version, and the upside down version is a Walmart exclusive. Like I said, I was surprised to have found these at Walmart because my Walmart doesn't even sell Marvel Legends or DC Multiverse action figures. Yet they got the whole wave of these in, which which I'm happy. I'm actually really happy for that. So, for the first fix accessories, he comes with an alternate hand made for holding the walkie-talkie. And all of the Stranger Things figures come with them. They all look the same from what I've looked up online from the images I've seen. But... There it is, and it looks really good. It's got some sculpting detail to it. Not much paint detail, just a little bit of silver right there, and white and red right there. And he has this huge peg that comes out of his hand that connects to the back of this. I like how McFarlane did this, though, because uh, some of the figures, like the Walking Dead ones, come with huge accessories that stretch out their hands. But that way, uh, since this comes with an extra hand, that's made just for this. You don't have to stretch it out because that is how much it stretches hand out. Now, putting it on, it does stay on, but if you move it, it will fall right off. Like it is, it is super quick to fall off. So he can hold it like that. But if you try, you don't have to put hardly any pressure on it at all. But if you move the hand, it does that. So that's pretty unfortunate. I don't know if the rest of the Stranger Things figures do that or not, because uh, this is only my second and third Stranger Things figure. Um, the Demogorgon was my first, and I still have yet to review that. I need to get around to doing that. But I really wanted to review these. I've, uh, I have I actually just got these today, but I was so excited to get these that, you know, I'm also reviewing them in the same day. So, like, that kind of clicks in there. Like, you can feel it clicking and with the other hand you can't so up next he comes with this backpack and it, it almost looks like it's scaled up 
from the one that uh, Eugene came with from The Walking Dead. It looks almost identical to it. And the straps are even doing the same thing. Out of the package, the straps were like that. So I don't know if that is scaled up or not. It really does look like it, though. It looks like it's just uh, scaled up from the 5-inch line. But it looks pretty good. It has a little bit of paint detail to it. It has a wash of light gray over that charcoal collar. And that has a little bit of gray painted at the bottom. So to put this one, Will, you just have to put his hands back like that. And just slide it through each of the straps. And you kind of have to wiggle the straps over his arms and over his shirt there. There. So now let's take a look at the head sculpt. So the head sculpt is really awesome. McFarlane really nailed it. And uh, this is the same one as the previous uh, Will. Or I actually think it's in the same way. But it's the same thing. He's just painted a little differently. And the likeness is really awesome. Noah Schnapp, I believe is his name. Um, if I'm wrong, correct me in the comments. But Ned's cup looks really nice. So does the hair. And it has gloss over it, like in certain places. If you can see, the light is catching it. And it has gloss, and he has gloss over him uh, from the upside down. And he's also got some green slime, as well as clear slime on him. Like he has the slime right there on his uh, outer jacket. Well, I suppose this is a shirt. This is this is uh, kind of a jacket. But it looks really nice. I feel like they should have done just a little bit of green right here. Because he has a little bit of green on his shirt. Like right there. It's glossy and green. And uh, there. His watch is covered in the green slime. And so is his shirt. And he has that greenish skin tone. Like he has the bags under his eyes. And he has the slime right there on his face. And that looks really awesome. And then he has a little bit more down here on his pants. And his pants have some nice sculpting as well. Like I said, that's one thing, uh, like I've said in my previous reviews, uh, that is one thing McFarlane Toys always does an amazing job on is the clothing. They always get the texturing. Like his pants have a texturing to it. It has that wash over it. It just looks really awesome. But like I said, uh, some of the slime is concentrated in some areas like he doesn't have any on the back of his pants at all or the back of his shirt. So I feel like they could have added a little bit more uh, green paint apps and a little bit more of the clear slime right there. So, like I said, uh, could have used just a little bit more of that. And there are his shoes, which also look really nice. They have a little bit of uh, texturing to them as well. That's pretty cool. And then there is the bottom of his foot. And, oh, he also, uh, he also came with a base. Where is that at? Where is that at? Oh, I, okay. So, that, that actually took me a little longer to find than I expected. So, there is his base. Um, all the Stranger Things figures come with this, even the Demogorgon does. And it's a clear base that says Stranger Things right there. And, uh, he has a hole in his foot that connects to the peg right there. So, if you can't get him to stand up, that also helps. I don't know how I could have forgot that. Um, I thought it was right here beside me, but nope, it was not. I must have just been crazy. So, there he is with the, uh, the base right there. So now let's go over his articulation. He has a ball-jointed head that can't look back at all because of his hair. He can look all the way down. He can move his head side to side. He has ball-jointed shoulders that can move all the way out. He has single jointed elbows that can bend in very far, so it it kind of functions as a, a semi double jointed elbow because it has a pretty big cut there for it, so he can bend in really far. He has swiveled wrists that can move side to side and up and down. It can move up and down that way and up and or it can move up and down that way, side to side right there. Hold on, there's a swivel right there as well as right here, so it's a double swivel. Double swivel wrist. That's that's the words I was looking I was looking for. Sometimes I trip over my words in these reviews. Um, he has double swivel hips. He can do a complete split. He can kick forward all the way. He can kick back all the way. He has single jointed knee that's on a swivel, and he has ball jointed ankles that can move up just a little bit, 
down just a little bit, and it can function as an ankle rocker. So, the articulation is a lot better than I thought it would be. Um, McFarlane is finally fixing the articulation on these 7-inch scale figures. Um, I guess it doesn't really do any good with The Walking Dead because uh, it got cancelled. Just about lost this again. Um, but, yeah, the, uh, the Walking Dead figures have actually been cancelled. Uh, they were just on a hold, and now they've taken them off of McFarlane's website. So, that's a bummer. So, for some size comparisons, I'm only going to be able to do a size comparison to the Demogorgon, since these are the, uh, only three Stranger Things figures I have so far. So, there, upside down, Will is next to Dart. And then, here they both are next to the Demogorgon. And the Demogorgon is a lot taller than Will. So, yeah. I'm actually surprised that, uh... The Demogorgon fits on my diorama because he's such a huge figure. And the articulation is really good on that. I'll have to get around to reviewing this sometime this week or, or next week. Who knows when I'll review it. My schedule is all messed up. Uh, that, that's a that's another thing I, I wanted to say in this review real quick is uh, my schedule is pretty messed up lately. So I just do reviews whenever I can now. So that's why I'm doing it on Saturday because usually I don't do them on Saturdays. But I made an exception for these figures. So, overall, I would highly recommend both of these. They are really awesome. Uh, I feel like Dark could have used a little more paint detail, but still, overall, it's awesome. So, that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.